All right, suppose you're asked whether or not a molecule is aromatic. You'll probably see a bunch of carbon atoms attached to each other and double bonds in alternating places. Now, first of all, who cares? Well, if a molecule is aromatic, then it's going to be a flat molecule, perfectly flat. Even in this case, where it's six carbons all attached to each other, you may know that if you usually have six carbons attached to each other, they're in like a chair formation and there's bends in it because, because the carbons bond to each other at certain angles. But if it's aromatic, it's a flat molecule. And the most important bit is that the electrons are what we call delocalized, which means these aren't actually alternating double bonds. Sure, there are double bonds here and there, and well, not really. We show it as single bond, double bond, single bond, double bond, single bond, but more accurately, they're all one and a half bonds. These electrons could be anywhere in the ring. They're not actually in a bond but we show them as single bond, double bond, single bond, double bond, just because it's easier for us to visualize. Long story short, if you're asked if it's aromatic, you gotta follow the Heuchel rule. I might not be pronouncing that right. The Heuchel rule says you must have 4n plus 2 pi electrons, which, I mean, you can count up the number of bonds and then multiply, count up the number of double bonds and multiply it by two, and if that fits this formula, then it works. Whatever, I'm gonna teach you the trick. If you have an odd number of double bonds, then, and they're in a ring, it's aromatic. Odd number of double bonds. Look, this here is benzene. It's like the token aromatic molecule. Let's see if it's aromatic. One, two, three double bonds. That's odd. Aromatic. Check. This here is eight carbons in a ring with alternating double bonds. Looks like it could be aromatic. Let's find out. One, two, three, four double bonds. Well, that's not odd. That's not an aromatic molecule. This here is a molecule called naphthalene. It's what mothballs are made out of. And I see we have rings and alternating double bonds, but let's make sure it's aromatic. One, two, three, four, five double bonds. Hey, it's aromatic. The Heuchel rule talks about how many electrons you can find in double bonds. Chemist Nate says, just count the number of double bonds, and if it's odd, it's aromatic, as long as they're in a ring. You've got that, you're good to go. I should point out there are, like, the reason the Heuchel rule exists, and, and this isn't the rule, is that there are ions that don't have alternating double bonds. They have, like, extra free lone pairs of electrons floating around in, in pi orbitals. But long story short, in the chem questions you're going to get, like grade 11, 12, whatever grade you're in, these are going to be the most common ones. Count the number of double bonds. If it's odd, aromatic, done. Best of luck.